get caught up in what's going on and we forget that you're in control of it at all times. Lord, I just, I pray right now, Father, that each student, Lord, that we would just fix our hearts and eyes on you, Father, that that's what we're here for. We're here for you. We're here to just worship you, Lord. to you right now. Lord, we thank you that your presence is here. Lord, we thank you that your word is here. We thank you that you, you sent your Holy Spirit in this room tonight, Father, to bring freedom. Lord, to set a fire so deep inside of our soul, Lord, that we'd stay focused on that which is in front of us, and that's you, God. You're our prize. You're our king forever. while we were finishing worship, I had a student approach me and the student asked me, he said, you know, I'm having trouble just staying focused. I'm having trouble just keeping God first and just kind of understanding some of that. And then just shortly after, I had a leader come to me and share with me their heart on what's been happening over in other countries and how people have been putting their faith. They've been being you know, murdered for their faith. And you see it on the news if you've just read anything from internet, Yahoo, AOL, or anything, or if you've read through the newspapers or if you've watched the evening news, you've seen that there are people across the world that are having to choose between being in and staying in that country or having to flee and hope they escape. Or even more and worse of all, if they won't say they don't know Jesus, if they won't refuse Him and and surrender over to their religion, then they lose their life. And what I want to put before you tonight is the heart that God was speaking, Lord, both through the student and the leader tonight. And it's this very thing. You see, in this world, as we walk each day and we, we move and we go about our business, because we have what we need materially most times, because we have enough oxygen in the air, and we have just enough food on the table, we have just enough, maybe in your bank account if you're a little older. You have just enough to get through a school day. You have just enough to get maybe some new clothes for school, maybe. But whatever it is to you, it's just enough. But you see, to the people across the world that are losing their life right now, 
They have to choose. And I want you to just take a moment. Would you just close your eyes for a moment? Because I'm going to let you kind of start where we finished last week. And that was looking at yourself.